Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting and today I am super pumped because we are looking at these guys today. This is our first look at the Matos Designs Evo Pixels. Let's dive in. Over the past few years, there have been a few attempts from different companies in trying to basically take what we know as a bullet pixel, these guys, right, that are very popular in this hobby, though they don't originate from this hobby, uh, and redesign them. And the reason why you'd want to redesign these pixels is uh, there, there's a couple really positive, really good things, uh, reasons to do so. Uh, number one is, you know, when using the strips that were designed for these exact pixels or using a Coro prop like this one from Boscoya Studio, turns out that the initial assembly and if you have to repair or replace a pixel, uh, the inserting, the pushing of the pixel is actually really painful and slow. Also, there are some unreliabilities to these traditional bullet pixels. If, you use any of them from any of the brands they are prone to you know over the years bad batches of epoxy bad wiring etc people like matos designs and the you know the standard pixels like we have here you know they made some progress right in basically taking the standard pixel and cutting the boards better doing a better job connecting the cables but there still ends up especially if you run 12 volt like all good people um fight below in the comments, <laughs> um, you end up still having issues with reliability. I mean, it's not rampant, right? But it's still there. You still get the occasional pixel out. you got to replace it. And so what I love is the team at Matos, JR, and all the rest went to the drawing board and they said, hey, let's take these guys, these old bullets, and, you know, let's throw them out and just redesign this. How can we make this better? Thus, the Evo was born. If you haven't heard about it, that's the cool thing. And when they first came out, you know, I the word that I heard basically from people who, who had touched them and seen them and interacted with them was, wow, these are just a game changer. And now I could say the same. And let's talk about why. So the first reason why they're really a game changer is the fact that they've taken the pixel, they've redesigned it. For the most part, they are better. Okay, they're different. There's one or two slight negatives and a lot of positives, okay, when you compare them. Let's talk about that. On the positives, they're smaller, they're lighter, they're actually less than half the weight of traditional pixels. Um, so when you put them in props and you're storing your props together, your props are now taking up less space and they're now also weighing less so that when you've got a bunch of props stacked up or you've got things in plastic bins they're not as heavy for you to carry them all in all it's just better for your general welfare they've also done other innovations like on the back side i know it's slightly blurry um, but they are totally flat which means when you go to push them into something like this boscoy omega tree strip okay it's going in and it's going in nice and flat. It's going in nice and even. And I believe they recommend as the last step to push it on the table. Uh, other folks have noted in their testing that um, if you warm it up a little bit, and it is quite cool in here today, it will go a lot better. Okay. And like that, I've inserted it into the strip. Okay. For Coro props, the process is a little different. So there are actual little nubs on the side. And on most Coro props, including those made by Voscoya Studios, and I believe the Gilbert Engineering ones too, you've also got nubs in the prop. So that means you can take them, insert them, line up the nubs with the nubs in the prop, right? You push it past that point, okay? And then you turn it with the wire once it's inside. Now the cool thing about this is, I believe this is Boscoyo standard uh, 12 millimeter Coro, I want to say, is that it's now completely flat on the front. But the pixel's in there, right? So let's turn them back on and we have placed them inside. Kind of clicks. And we just turn the wire gently or not gently. And now it's stuck in there. It looks cool. It lights up. It does all the things. You can, I think you can see it on camera okay. 
yeah it lights up on camera you see it in the prop it's colorful it looks good and then to get it out i just kind of do the same thing just a quick little uh, turn of the key and off we go so those are the positives they're lighter they draw less power they are easier to ship they're shipping them in bags now in, in a uh, like a tear-off bag kind of like a little snack um, they are kind of like a little snack not really don't eat them and you know they're physically they look brighter um, because the whole thing illuminates instead of just the top and so they they definitely look brighter you can see them blowing out on camera a little bit compared to the regular pixel so what's the downside of the evos well i think the biggest downside people have come across is compared to taking bullet pixels okay and running them at like 10 20 percent you know you can often do three four hundred or more pixels in a line without any power injection evos being a native 12 volt pixel um, i believe most people have noted at around 300 pixels without any power injection or even just a spiker power t to go from the start to the end of the prop um, without doing that you will see it blank out at about 300 now i only have 200 here um, but i've lit it up and i've even stuck a 25 count of bullet pixels on the end everybody's lit up everybody's bright nobody's strobing nobody's flickering nobody's turning pink or yellow at the end they're working really good so in my mind it's kind of a non-issue because i generally recommend that people just run you know at the maximum um, around 2 250 pixels before starting a new port or a new smart receiver but if you want to do more you've got high density props whatever then injecting within that prop you know doing what's often called now power balancing which is just power injection is a great way to do it and to keep these things running because remember your props get lighter they get easier to build oh and what's that that's right they're less expensive that's the last part it's like imagine that right you, you go ahead like Mattis designs did and you purpose build something that's designed for our industry designed to work for our stuff and they actually cost less so you can see the evos here i'm actually going to throw a pattern back on them again I like patterns oh that one's fun and now this is the cool part about this is I'm really digging these evos I'm really digging uh, what they're able to do I'm digging how they perform the reports we're seeing from the field everybody who's got their hands on them pretty much just loves these things and they come in at a lesser cost so they're kind of a no-brainer so if you see this now um, coming out here early December hopefully you've got your display up for this year you're good to go you're starting to think about next year um, here's the big stuff is we're doing a pre-sale we've got our first batch of evos on their way so we'll have details over on the store at learn christmas lighting as to when approximately you'd receive those evos and they're open so you can buy them you can buy them and we will ship them out when we get them but they are on order they're being manufactured they're on their way and so if you want to get in line to get your hands on them do so from us and one of the cool things about learn christmas lighting is we're centrally located in the u.s all the shipping calculates from the store so that especially if you're in the middle or the east coast region of the country oftentimes our shipping is a really great value for you i'm excited about evos i'm really like i'm kind of scared because i'm not sure that we're going to be able to keep them in stock for me to use in my display next year we're going to try um, but we've got some on order we're going to keep ordering more and more and more so we can get those to you um, as you order as quickly as possible so check that out we're pre-selling them on the site and uh, be sure to uh, subscribe here if you're new um, and if you're thinking about doing a christmas light show next year hop over to learnchristmaslighting.com grab our free guide it's going to help you get started with christmas lighting and uh, it's going to help you not make the kind of mistakes i did when i got started so if that sounds good we'll see you over there on the site Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Merry Christmas.